Hi guys, welcome to a Watch Me Work video. This one's the Fantasy Stiletto, um, part one. This is um, building the um, base of this Weeping Healthcare Angel that I created. Um, just wanted to create something really on a fantasy style um, nail art that commemorated the times that we're in at the moment. Um, and also thank the um, healthcare workers that are dealing with COVID-19 day in, day out. Um, and protecting our NHS. So, yeah, I wanted to just do a little bit of um, fantasy um, nail art to commemorate that. So, the first part of creating this angel is really to protect my natural nail plate um, while I create the stiletto. I don't want to keep the stiletto on and I don't want to um, soak off once I've completed it. So what I tend to do when I'm doing any sort of practicing or creating on my um, own natural nail plate is I apply these protective base coat films. Um, now they're really, really easy to apply um, and it just helps at the end to be able to peel the nail off without damaging your natural nail plate. Um, now the, the film that I use is um, from Nailebrity um, and it's called Take Two, It's Not A Wrap um, and these just help as I say to um, remove the nail once you've created it without damaging your, your own nail bed or your nail plate. I know um, I've got a bunch of these that I bought probably about two years ago now um, but I know um, Katie Barnes has them for, uh, sorry, for sale on her website at the moment. So check those out if you want to grab yourself a, a bunch of these. I think it's Katie Barnes um, Academy. Um, so yeah, look her up. But they're so easy to apply. Um, and as I say, it just makes it so easy to remove the nail once you've completed it. Um, it's just a matter of sticking it on there pushing it all down, making sure you get as many of the creases out as possible. Now I've got quite um, oh, curved nails, you know, I've got quite deep C curves to my nails, so my nail beds are quite, um, quite round, um, for want of a better word, so I, I have to really push to get the creases out and um, someone with a, a flatter nail bed um, obviously wouldn't need to work so hard to get those creases out but there's a right way and a wrong way of applying these and there's so many YouTube videos out there um, with instruction of how to do that so I'm not going to bore you by going through all of that but as I say if you practice on yourself or you want to create anything on your own nail beds then these are perfect for doing that and still helping to protect your own nail bed. Okay, so that's the um, protective film on. Now I can start to build my um, form to place on there. Now these are um, Mystic Nails Extreme Forms. Um, absolutely fantastic for salon work. They're, the paper is so thick it keeps its shape. Um, without bending out of shape as you're applying and that kind of thing. However, I wanted them longer than the extreme form. They come in extreme and salon length as well. The salon length is obviously shorter, but I wanted it longer than the um, standard extreme length um, here. So I decided that I was going to stick two together to get the length that I wanted. Um, so here I'm just lining those um, forms up together just to get that added, added length from the form which will allow me to create a longer nail. So there we go, you can see I've, I've more or less doubled the length of that form just by sticking the two together. Now these forms are perfect for shaping before you place the form on the, the nail or on the finger. 
Um, here I'm just bending it around a, a brush um, just to give myself a bit of a C curve before I start. Um, you can either roll the, the forms between your, your thumb and your forefingers, your index fingers, to give it that nice C curve shape. Um, but because these forms are so structured, um, you can use a brush and that gives you a, a head start. And as you can see there, it's, it's absolutely fantastic at keeping its shape. So yeah, there we go. So now we're, we're offering that form up against my natural nail plate just to get a good fit. So I'm just checking around and uh, there, seeing where I need to um, cut away. I'm um, using my form fitting scissors, again, that I got from Katie Barnes. And just snipping down the edges of that form. Now what I'm trying to do here is to um, make sure that the form fits up to the edge of the nail on both sides without it going over. Um, if it goes over then the skin at the sides of the nails can push that form out and you end up with um, a thicker um, nail than you, you really want. You want a nice thin nail coming forward from the finger so I'm just trying to fit that form to my shape of my finger or the end of my free edge. There we go, so again offering it up again with the paper on, you don't need to take the, the backing paper off to do this. And Katie's um, form fitting scissors actually come um, if you get the set, then there's a, a straight scissor and um, a curved scissor, which is fantastic if you're needing to cut curves in your form to fit around your, your free edge. So there you go, just trying to get that a little bit more to my, to my um, shape of my free edge on that. Okay, we can see that that's a, a much better fit around that free edge then, although that form does still come slightly over the natural nail on the edge, so I want to take a little bit more out of those edges just to make sure that it just comes up to the edge of the nail and not past. <clears throat> I've got quite puffy side walls. Um, I've been around my nails for years which means I've got puffy fingers so if I left those um, those edges on the form in place then obviously the form would push away from the skin and throw the line of the nail completely out so I want to get rid of those edges cut it around and then that will go around the skin at the side of the nail plate. As you can see there, it just comes up from to edge to edge of the nail and no further forward. And then I've cut around that puffy skin. Okay, so now I'm ready to start thinking about attaching it to my finger. Now what I always do with my forms is to close the tabs at the bottom um, at the front of the form. And this really just helps to keep the, the form straight. So again, whether you leave that end open for a square nail or further close it until it's almost tightly closed for more of a stiletto or an almond, that's entirely up to whatever shape you're wanting to create. So. Here I've closed it right up at the end. Okay, so now I'm needing to check um, the alignment of the form. 
the angles and all that kind of thing. So one thing that I'm checking here is, is the form straight and will it um, generate a nice slim stiletto. So I want to check that the stiletto would be straight from the apex down to the bottom of the form. I want that nice and straight. And then the other thing that I need to check is that um, the form is on straight from the side walls. So where the upper arch would be, I want to make sure that that would come straight out from the finger and not tilt up or tilt down. Okay, so just tightening it all up now. Okay, and then the last third of that form, I completely close that end up. Because I want a nice sharp stiletto shape. Okay, so this is how I apply my forms. I'm not saying it's a right way or a wrong way, this just is just how I do it. Everybody's got their own hints and tips of how to um, apply a form the right way and the wrong way. This is just how I do mine. Just making sure it's all nice and tightly fitted. Don't want any gaps or anything like that up by that free edge. And then we're ready to start applying our acrylic once we're happy with how straight it is. So the acrylic that I'm going to be using for um, this nail is again Mystic Nails. Um, I love Mystic Nails acrylic simply because the, the workability um, of the bead. It's not too runny, it's not too dry. The cover powder um, doesn't um, fog either, it doesn't marble, um, which is fantastic. You know, some cover powders really do marble and look a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit not great. Um, it doesn't give you a, a uniform colour, but Mystic Nails um, is great for that. It will give you a nice uniform colour to your cover pink. Okay, so I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs here. You know how to apply acrylic. I always start with a bead um, right up at the free edge onto the form and that just really secures that um, form in place so it doesn't move around while you're working on it. So while I apply this nail um, I shall let you listen to a little bit of music while I apply um, and I shall speak to you in a short while once we've Got the nail all on.
there we go, that's the, the nail created. Uh, it's quite difficult working on um, yourself at this sort of length. Um, so there are areas that I can see on there that I, I would have preferred to get a little bit more perfect, but you know, that's the way it goes. As long as we learn from um, the nails that we create, then you can't ask more for, than that, really. So I'm just removing the, the foam gently here to make sure it doesn't pull on the natural nail. You can just see the length that that's created. Okay, so next step really is to go through your filing routine just to make sure that um, you know the side walls are nice and straight, the cuticle area is all nice and flush, your upper arches are nice and straight to the tip and then you've got a nice curve around the nail itself. And there we go, after we've completed the filing. The next stage is really is to um, just make sure that that nail is nice and smooth, all the dust is removed, ready for um, any sort of colour application. So I'm taking some 100% acetone here just to remove dust and um, smooth the nail out. The acetone will very slightly melt the surface of the nail and just to smooth out all those demarcation lines from your filing. There we go, we're ready for some colour. Next thing to do really is to remove it from the, the nail plate. Um, remember we, pro we protected the nail bed with the um, base film. And this is really easy to do, just be careful as you're removing it just to make sure that you're not pulling off or anything. What I tend to do um, with my forms is to just use my thumbnails um, to pull the nail bed and the nail plate away from that acrylic. And then once you get it going, it just kind of pops off. Now you wouldn't do this at all if the acrylic was attached to your, your natural nail, but because we've got that film in between, it's quite easy then to um, remove that acrylic nail from the nail bed. And there we go. I can see we've removed that with zero damage to the nail itself. And then the nail protective film is adhered to the acrylic. And we're ready to rock and roll with our design. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this part one. Um, next we'll jump into the design itself and complete the fantasy work. Okay, thanks guys. Remember like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed this. Take care, bye.